Now we've been so busy with all kinds of content and I'm not sure what my voice is sounding like this right now. I think I got something stuck in my throat. Pause on that. But loyalty, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. We stream at 12 a.m. Eastern each and every single day on Twitch. So make sure you guys check that out. All of that, how to become a member to the social media links and then the Discord link as well. All of that is inside the description box. We didn't talk about today's new monthly daily moments program for the month of july now in my opinion this is one of the better ones but it is still not great and i'll go ahead in detail as to why i feel that way so the daily moments program it starts it off with a moment of tallying two hits with lou gehrig against garrett cole i'm hoping that it's not black and white because i hate black and white moments you get a standard pack right after that at five daily moments program points you're gonna get yourself one of these just in case you never got them i wonder if you can quick sell any duplicates because if you could quick sell them then that's an easy k for ozzy smith so if you have all of these i would just get ozzy smith check if you can go ahead and quick sell them if you can quick sell them you're good and if not he's gonna have the most exchange value out of all of them so i would still pick up ozzy smith since that's the highest overall then you have to decide between nelson cruz and ed ford or whitey ford in my personal opinion you're gonna want to go with nelson cruz because whitey he's really not gonna be one that's gonna be in your starting rotation even his diamond version and nelson cruz he has at least the opportunity to go ahead and pinch hit we continue one k stubs we get a set 18 headliners set 18 headliners has cliff floyd the 95 overall prime card that can be helpful towards collections and then you get nelson cruz and then you get set 20 which has anthony rizzo so they're juicing up these packs nonetheless or they're juicing up these daily moments programs nonetheless which i feel is deserving considering they've been giving us three inning games as daily moments which i am 100 percent against and then the big gunner is gonna be this pablo sandoval cycle card now i'm a little sad that this Pablo Sandoval card does not have catcher as a secondary because if it had catcher as a secondary I promise you he has a breakout card that has catcher as a secondary I believe but did Pablo Sandoval play catcher I'm almost 100% he did unless I'm bugging but if he did have catcher as a secondary the card would be out of this world I mean for third base slash first base it would have been out of this world and it would have been one that could have most likely cracked a ton of teams if Eddie Murray wasn't one of the program bosses to come out. Now with Eddie Murray being one of the program bosses to come out, this Pablo Sandoval looks a lot worse. And then him being a third baseman, Chipper Jones is there. Chipper Jones is gonna be the best third baseman we have all game. And if you don't want to use Chipper Jones at third base, you have Wander Franco available, you have Ronnie Mauricio, you have Trent Groshans. So you have a ton of options, especially if you have a ball player at shortstop, or even if you have a ball player at third base, First base as a secondary is really where I see this Pablo Sandoval playing, if playing anywhere. And let me change my camera just so you guys can go ahead and see everything that he brings. He brings 90 fielding, which is really good for third base, as well as the arm strength and reaction at a 93. The 40 speed isn't great, but all around, what makes this card good is being a switch hitter. So yes, 100%, this card is a good card and is a card that I believe a lot of people should go ahead and get because Pablo Sandoval has a good swing and worst comes to worst, you're gonna be using him as a pinch hitter against righties. Now, if you got him starting either at third or first base, shout out to you as well because he definitely is capable of cracking a lot of teams as I say. Now, let's go into the other player programs to see the other ones that we do obtain. So once you unlock Nelson Cruz, you're going to have the moments to do. Once you do those moments, you'll be able to unlock stage two. And then stage two takes you on towards the path of Nelson Cruz's Silver Slugger. Now this Silver Slugger, it could be the final version of Nelson Cruz that we see in terms of overall. And if this is the final version that we see in terms of overall, it is not a bad card either. Now, as I said previously, he's going to be someone that you have on the bench. The reason you have him on the bench is because look at the fielding, 53 fielding with 56 reactions. 
action. You just can't have that in right field. You can't have that in left field. The hitting is amazing. And like I said, you look at John Carlos Stanton and you look at this Nelson Cruz and they will give you equal value. Yes, John Carlos Stanton is the better defender out of the two, but that should have been expected. But nonetheless, against left-handers, they're going to give you equal value. And against right-handers with the 89 contact, that's a ton more than John Carlos Stanton. So as a pinch hitter, Nelson Cruz, which is most likely what John Carlos Stanton would be for you regardless, Nelson Cruz is going to be giving you a ton of more value. And he's absolutely free. So that's the beauty of it. Instead of paying over 150k for John Carlos Stanton, out of everybody you can pay over 150k for, and then you go to the next available card and it's going to be whitey ford now let me go back to my previous camera so you guys can see the pitch arsenal or pitch repertoire that he has so he has a four seam a slider a curveball sinker and changeup. so you know he has the five pitches you want every pitcher to have the only one that you could go ahead and replace in this year's game is the cutter for the fastball or the yeah the cutter for the fastball because this year, the cutter is ridiculous. You face Corbin Burns, and his cutter is going to be ridiculous. But looking at the attributes that come with Whitey Ford, you look at that hit per nine, and you're saying, okay, that's a pretty good hit per nine. The K per nine doesn't blow you out of the water. The pitching clutch is pretty good at 110. Home run per nine doesn't really matter. But the downside to this Whitey Ford, and the reason why I say to get Nelson Cruz first, is this Whitey Ford, all he throws is 92 and below. And if you don't know already, especially on all-star difficulty anything that does not have outlier let alone 97 plus the pitcher is most likely going to get rocked by every single opponent because the fastball is going to be coming coming in as a changeup, and then all of his off street pitches they come in at good differentials in terms of speed like his slider comes in at 81 curveball comes in at 72 and then the changeup comes in at 75 all of those are pretty good speed differentials from his sinker and his fastball but once again he throws extremely slow, so the hitter is never going to be jumping out of his seat to go ahead and catch up to a fastball. They're always going to be able to sit back, wait on the fastball, wait on the sinker. Same thing with the slider, curveball, changeup, all of it. Unfortunately, this card is just not good enough. The Nelson Cruz definitely has a lot of value, and the Pablo Sandoval definitely has a lot of value. Now, the only difference that I see from this program and the previous program unless i'm mistaken i'm pretty sure that they allowed us to get one of the diamond cards in the previous program but hold up hold up without even let, let's not let's not even talk about that you get a space set two pack available where you can get atlee rutschman to help you out with the prospect set or any of these other cards that can help you out and you get a space set three now i personally stop as soon as i get the 25 but if you remember to do your moments every single day, make sure you complete the whole thing because those space set packs are going to be very valuable. The fact that it has 37 points means that there are going to be a ton of moments that are going to be doubled, maybe even tripled, highly doubted, most likely doubled only. But it's definitely going to be worth it if you're looking to make stubs big time. In general, whether I give this a W or an L, definitely give it a W. As I said, small little recap, Pablo Sandoval definitely going to be usable nelson cruz going to be usable as a bench bat think of him as a free 12 and 0 flawless john carlos Stanton, basically and then whitey ford he's not going to be cracking any of your starting rotations the best thing that whitey ford can do is help you out with collections as well as go ahead and help you out if he's available to pitch in a certain event but besides that there's really no purpose in having him as a must have inside any diamond dynasty team if you did end up enjoying today's content hit that like button or subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all my socials everything is inside the description box have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all on the next one peace out